And that's how you do it. So this little search bar here, if you paste any uh, GPS coordinates in decimal notation, it will give you a custom uh, a custom place. And then I'm going to set set as arrival. And boom, there you go. That's how far you, we have 445 nautical miles from my mouse to go to reconnoiter this place. And um, there's no airstrip there. It was just a random coordinate that I chose. If you're on Google Maps, for example, let's go to Google Maps. Uh, yeah, pretty easy, huh? <laughs> and in Google Maps, uh, let's also, let's say if we wanted to go to near where I live here in New York City. Okay, let's go here to uh, to this spot in Spoiten Duivel here. Let's go to Henry Hudson Park. Okay, I'm just gonna click anywhere here. I'm gonna click right here and boom. West Bronx, there's a GPS coordinates down here. It's also up here in the address bar. I like copying things from the address because it's just easy. But you can also, uh, you can also, uh, there's a spot right there. It's the decimal notation number you want right there. I copy that. I come back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. I click on the search bar, paste, custom. Boom, right there at that exact position in New York City. I click on it again set as arrival and boom okay that would be we need a jet to get that far away the Inter Islander won't make it 